hey guys let's see how to combine lists if there are two list three list how will you combine all of them to one single list to do this let's first create a list variable i am saying list one is equals to and we'll be using two square brackets and inside that let's put some numbers one two three okay and let's create another list variable equals to again starting with square bracket ending with square bracket 4 comma 5 comma 6 okay let's create one more okay let's do that let's list 3 and then equals to and i'm going to use square bracket and i'm going to write 7 comma 8 comma 9 and then end with the so there are three different list that i have created now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a list called combined list and I'm going to declare it as blank. So I'm not going to enter any value, I'll leave it blank. So first of all, let's see how all of this appears when I print them. So how will you print um, everything, all the list in one line, in one print command? I'll put a list one variable, comma, and then I'm going to use two single quotes. Inside this, forward slash n, and then I'm going to say comma, and then I'm going to type the list two, comma and again the same thing I'll repeat inside this forward slash n and I'm going to say comma and then again you will be writing the third list which is list 3 and inside this again forward slash n so what is this meaning slash n means new line okay so it will be printing in the new line pretty simple comma and then I'm going to finally put combined underscore list okay so all the variables that you declare are case sensitive so you have to write exactly the way you have declared it so let's save it and then do a execution f5 so if you do the first one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 has come and then the last one which is a combined list has come blank so let's close this now what i want i would like to combine first of all let's see this is a blank list combined underscore list is a blank list here there is a method available called extend method okay simply type extend and within the parenthesis i am going to declare which variable i would like to add let's say i want to add list one so what would happen if you print combined underscore list now which was blank earlier now if, if you are going to execute this what you have got you have got one two three now uh, is it possible is it possible to simply say comma list two comma list three okay so i put all the list here so i'm going to save it and execute it so what is happening this doesn't allow you list.extend takes exactly one argument so you cannot do this way okay so what is the alternative for us now is to remove all of this keep only one list so once this is done again i have to repeat this around two times and instead of list one i am going to put list two and here i am going to put list three done now let's print it print the combined list what's going to happen control save the five and you got one two three four five six seven eight nine so you have got all of this in one place now there is a question that comes to our mind is it possible to do a append there is also a method available with the list variables dot append okay there is something called append is also available now what would happen by doing a append let me show you for example i am going to say um, let's do one thing list one dot and i am going to use the append and here i am going to write what list two and let's print the list one here what happens to the list one let's see okay so save it and let me executed so list one contains one two three and i'm saying add list two below it which is four five six 
and I'm going to print list one. What happens to the list one? Save it and do an execution F5. So what is happening here? One, two, three is a list. Then below that it is adding one single list object. So that means list inside a list. So this is not serving the purpose. So that is where you'll be using the extend method. Okay. The extend method is the right way. Okay. Earlier we have got this output. So extend method is the right way. All right. So let me do a control C just to show you. So this is the right way. If I'm going to execute, I'm getting the proper output. Getting it. So this is how you will be combining strings, uh, combining lists using the dot extend method. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in the next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.